Hello there, it's Pauline from iCreateCraft and today I'm just going to go through a pattern with you that's called Lean 2 and I wanted to share it with you because I tried it on a tile last week and I kind of uh, really should have had more practice I think. So I'm going to start with my tile and I will just take a breath in And out and in and out okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a grid pattern so I'll just start my, my um, grid reasonably large I think and then just do one down there and one down there okay and then I'm gonna get my pen and to start we're going to do a diagonal line across and then a straight line okay and then on these lines, we're going to have a little break, just like a little spotlight that we have on B light. And I'll just draw these lines in. And then I'll do another little spotlight. And then come along. Okay. And then on this piece, I'm going to do lines going this way and again I'm going to do a little reflection so stop and then carry that through to another one okay and that's the first square done now what you're actually aiming towards is you're going to have a diamond shape that's going to be in these four squares. So there's going to be like the diagonal is going to meet up. So I'm going to just draw that in just so you can see how this pattern is going to build up. Okay. And on this one, the line is going to come down like that. And on this one, the line's going to go across like that. And on this one, the line's going to go up like that. Okay, so that's basically um, just showing you how the pattern is going to build up. So on this one, the lines are going to come along. So I'll do the first line. Then I'll have a little break in the next line. And draw another few lines. Then the next line I'm going to have a little break. Okay, like that. And then my diagonal lines are going to go this way. And just remember that you're moving the tile so that it's comfortable for you. So. That's that one. Okay. And then on this one, the lines are going to go across like that. Okay. And then I'm going to turn my tile right around because my diagonals are going to be going from this direction. Okay, and then on this one, they're going to be going up. Like that. 
And then my diagonals are going to go like that. Okay, and you can see that you're building up this shape. So the same is going to happen in these four squares here. So I'm going to have a line. We're going to just repeat how we've done it. The line's going to go like that. Okay. And then this one's going to come down like that. And that will, the line's going to come out that way on that one. And then going up, the line's going to come across on that one. And then coming down, and the line's going to come down on that one. Okay. So now I'm going to be doing my diagonals and I'm actually going to use these lines. I can actually do the same. Okay, like that. And then I'll have these lines are going to go Like that, do them up there. And then on this one, the lines are going to be going upwards like this. Okay, and then my diagonal lines are going to be going. Oops, just went over my border there. Like that. And then on this one, our lines are going to go across. Like that, and then obviously you flip my tile around. Like that, and then on this one, I can do my diagonals to meet. That one, like that. And then my lines are going to go like that. Okay, and you can see how we're building this pattern. Just go in there and just reinforce my. Um, grid lines really. I'll just come along. Just reinforce my. Okay, I'm just going over my line. Okay, so on this one, we're going to be going upwards and out like that. So then
And then again, I can have my lines neaten up. Like so. Okay, and then this one is going to come down that way. And then the line is going to come down the way. So I'll be going this way with that one. Again, I can reinforce my line. And then again, my diagonals. And don't worry if your diagonal lines aren't meeting up perfectly. It is a little drawn. It's your artwork and it is what it is. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay, so then I've got my line going upwards and then my line is going that way, isn't it? So then Okay, so you've ended up with this kind of diamond shape in the middle. And then this one is going to be coming downwards like that. As you can see, my lines aren't very straight. <laughs> Just reinforce that grid there. And then your line's going to come down. like that and then this time we're going to do okay and then this one's going to come like that and go across like that okay and then we'll have our diagonals. That's probably. And then our. And then this one's going to go up like that. Okay. And then Like 
Right. I'm just going to go like that. And that's going to go across like that. Okay, you're kind of creating like a windmill looking um, style there, and then, oops Daisy, so then I'm going to turn the tile so it's comfortable and just join up these lines. And then on this one, it's going to join up that way. And this is going to come down. So we've got... Okay. And then your diagonal lines are going to go that way. So, you can see you've kind of got this diamond shape and then you've, you're creating diamonds. So, to shade that, I could, to make it really pop and go 3D, I'm going to um, shade inside each of these boxes. I'm going to be quite heavy with my shading to be fair, just to really make it pop. So just shading, and shading is all about giving depth in um, Tentangle. So it's not about where the light's coming from necessarily, it's really just about making things really pop off the page. So I'll just grab my little paper stump here. And I'm really going to blend that to create basically a shape that looks like you are, um, sorry, to create what looks like a 3D shape. So you've created something in 2D and you're going to try and make it look 3D. And by blending your pencil here, you're really going to create a sort of 3D effect. And um, the secret is to always leave some white. If you leave some white, you'll um, achieve that 3D look. And I could actually just even shade this top bit here. To give it even more depth. Okay. And the same on these bits. Okay, so now hopefully you can see that it really looks like you've got like a 3D and you could actually step down into these squares. Okay, 
So I'm really happy with that. I'll just pop a little initial on there. Just gonna have a look at it, hold it at arm's length. And remember there's no top or bottom with Zentangle. So have a look at it in all four directions. And I'm just gonna put on the back my name and today's date is the 4th of August and that pattern is called Lean 2. Okay, so hopefully that will help you when you come to do that pattern and see you again soon. Thank you.